How you doing, everybody? Today we're going to take a quick look at The Watchers, written and directed by Ishana Knight Shyamalan and starring Dakota Fanning and Georgina Campbell, and loosely based on the book of the same name. Fanning plays Mina, an American immigrant living in Northern Ireland. She works at a pet store and is tasked with delivering a parrot to a customer in Belfast. On her way there, her car suddenly breaks down in the middle of some very spooky woods, and her phone stops working. Instead of doing the sensible thing and following the road, she wanders into the woods looking for help. And after hearing some weird noises, she follows an old woman into the woods to a bunker with a mirrored glass wall. There she meets two other people who inform her she is now a prisoner of the Watchers, a group of mysterious creatures that observe them every night through the mirror. And if they try to escape or stay out after nightfall, they will almost certainly be killed. This movie was written and directed by a Nepo baby who, to her credit, absolutely owned up to being a Nepo baby. And I'm glad she was very honest about her position and the advantages she has because of it. Of course, her father is M. Night Shyamalan, whose work has been, shall we say, hit and miss. Sometimes he makes movies like The Sixth Sense or Split. Other times he makes Lady in the Water or After Earth. And now that I have seen his daughter's first movie, I can tell you the apple does not fall far from the tree with all the good and bad that that entails. She is a very good director, but a mediocre writer. Although this movie is based on a book, which I have not read, so I'm not sure how much of that is her fault and how much of that is the source material. In any case, she does a very good job of creating a spooky environment and setting the mood in these mysterious woods that our heroes are trapped in. And I thought she showed the appropriate amount of restraint in keeping the watchers off camera for as long as possible. Sometimes what you don't see is scarier than what you do. And when we finally do start to see bits of The Watchers, it is unsettling. Unfortunately, I don't know if I can say much more about The Watchers themselves, because almost any details at all would involve spoilers. And because there is some supernatural shit going on in these woods, our heroes tend to have hallucinations, and they can be pretty creepy. I really did like the atmosphere and the environment that Shyamalan created with this movie. It's a pity the script wasn't as good. The story does not make a whole lot of sense. One of the effects of whatever supernatural force is controlling these woods is electronic devices do not work, except for some reason, in the bunker. That one tiny spot in the woods is the only place where anything works, which raises some serious questions about how the bunker was built in the first place, because that really does not seem possible. Also, where the hell is the electricity in the bunker coming from? Like, they mention there's a generator somewhere, but usually generators need fuel, and that fuel has to run out at some point. And apart from Mina, the residents of the bunker have been there for months and possibly years. And without giving too much away, this becomes even more ridiculous as the movie goes on. Like, there is no way this bunker can possibly exist. And these woods apparently play tricks on your mind that cause you to get lost so you can't find your way out. But then at the end of the movie, again, without giving too much away, at least one character does manage to escape, and they do so without really doing anything special. They just walk out. I guess it works like the Lost Woods in Legend of Zelda, where you're fine as long as you stay on the right path, but you take a wrong turn and you're back to the start. I don't know. And there's very little consistency in the Watcher's behavior. They seem to be both capable and incapable of breaking into the bunker depending on what the plot calls for at any given moment. I did find it interesting how they weaved some bits of Celtic folklore into the story of the Watchers, but this also kind of proved to be the story's downfall. Because there is one character in that bunker that seems to know a little too much about what's going on with the Watchers. And for some reason, none of the other characters even think to question this. In fact, there's a lot of stuff that they should probably question, but they don't. I had a hard time believing that any of these characters were acting the way real people would in this situation. And because the Shyamalan name is attached, and again, the apple does not fall far from the tree, you're all going to be expecting that signature Shyamalan twist. And there is indeed a twist, and I think most people will figure it out pretty quickly. They don't do a very good job of hiding the twist, which in and of itself wouldn't necessarily be a problem as long as the story was engaging enough, but it's really not. And the ending went on considerably longer than I thought it would. Like I said, at least one character escapes the woods, and you would think the act of escaping the woods would be a perfect place to end the story. But 
that's not actually the end. It keeps going after that, and to be fair, there is something somewhat interesting that happens in that ending, and also something a bit silly. Still, it felt really weird to hit the point that feels like the obvious ending, and oh no, we still got 20 minutes left, what the hell? I thought the cast did a very good job considering what they had to work with. Fanning in particular is very good as Mina. She is going through a lot after the untimely death of her mother, and her grief has caused her to become estranged from her sister, and it's led to a bit of an identity crisis as she is constantly trying to pretend to be anyone but herself, but she cannot escape who she really is. And the other residents of the bunker, Georgina Campbell, Olwen Fuera, and Oliver Finnegan were all pretty good as well. I just wish they had a better script to work with. Unfortunately, not a very good first outing for Ishana Shyamalan as a writer, but she does have potential as a director. Sadly, that potential alone is not enough for me to recommend paying to see this in a theater. If you're at all interested, I would say wait for streaming. And that's all I have to say about The Watchers. Till next time, take care.